Good morning. This is Shinon So NJC. This morning I saw a young man resisting police search. And so I want to talk about powers of police officers in Nigeria to stop and search anybody. Police officers in Nigeria, not just the police officer, law enforcement officers, they have the constitutional and statutory duty to investigate and prosecute crimes. And in carrying out these duties, a police officer may stop and search any person, premises, or property. Property here includes searching your phones, your laptops, and other electronic gadgets found in your possession. Yes, police officers can search your phones. They can search your laptops. And if in the course of the search, crime evidence are found therein, they may seize it and that evidence will be used against you. Now, Section 50 of the Police Act provides that a police officer on a search, on a stop and search duty must be on uniform or at least wear a valid police identity card. And before he proceed with the search, he must first of all disclose his particulars to the person to be searched. Particulars here includes his name, the police station or division he is attached to. After disclosing his particulars, he will then question the person to be searched. Then the response to the question will determine the next step the police will take. If you are not able to give a reasonable answers to the questions, the police officer may proceed to search your property or your vehicle. That is what the law says. You may look at section 49 of the Police Act, I mean the Nigerian Police Act. Although section 37 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended guarantees right of every citizen to privacy. However, this right does not take away the powers of the police to investigate and prosecute crimes. If after searching you, you feel that you have been unlawfully searched or harassed, the constitution makes provisions that you are entitled to compensation and public apology. So what you will do is brief your lawyer. If you feel that you have been unlawfully searched or harassed, brief your lawyer. Your lawyer knows what to do. All you have to do is, is make sure you grab the particulars of the police officers harassing you or unlawfully searching you. However, the fact that you were unlawfully searched does not mean that crime evidence found in your possession or in your laptops or phones will not be used against you. The court will still admit them against you. So why I am making this video is so that because we have this, um, we see many, many people come to social media to say police officers have no right to search my phone. They have no right to search my, my, my vehicle or do this and do that. Police officers can search your phones, they can search your vehicle. If there is reasonable suspicion of crime, there must be reasonable suspicion of crime. That is what the law says, that where there is reasonable suspicion of crime, if a police officer suspects that you have committed a crime, the police officer have the right to search you. They can search your phone, they can... So just comply, rather than provoking them, or as in, you may provoke them and they, they may assault you in the course of searching you. Why don't you just comply? If they ask you questions, respond to their questions. If they ask you to bring your phone, show them your phone. Just comply with them and you will see that everything will be, go very smoothly for you. Don't forget to follow this page, Shinonso NJC. Follow this page. You have a lot to learn from this page. Okay? Please, police officers have the right to search. They have right to stop and search any person premises or property where there is reasonable